The late game today saw Switzerland come from behind to beat Serbia by two goals to one. A couple of nice goals from the Swiss. Did they deserve the win, though, overall, Robbo? Uh, not in the first half, they didn't. They were outplayed by Serbia. Serbia got down the wide areas and got crosses into the box. Mitrovic was a real problem in the air as he scored the first goal. But as the game wore on, they started to take control of midfield. And from that moment on, it looked as though they were going to be the only winners late on. Once they got the equaliser from Xhaka, they were always going to be the winners if it was going to be a winner, innit? That a team one? It's kind of what Switzerland do because they, they've never been, uh, in recent history, the, the prettiest team to watch. They've always been super organised under this coach. They have got a little bit of flair in the team. And as Robbo said, they sat in and that's kind of how they play. But in some way, they were forced to come out in the second half, which they did. Two great goals. And I thought, yeah, they were ultimately over the 90 minutes the better team. Val, Val's won a lot of friends, hasn't yeah. he? Mm -hmm. A lot of friends in this tournament. But you have to question why the referee didn't go and have a look at the penalty appeal that Serbia had. Yeah, and, and while VAR has been successful in the balance of this World Cup, why do you have the system in place when Mitrovic is literally being bear-hugged by two defenders? Fabian Schaar is not even looking at the ball. He's physically two-handed. Yes, and, and I'm thinking to myself, hold on a second. They call a foul on Mitrovic looking at this, and somehow they're looking at the video somewhere else and they think the same thing? That is one that perhaps they might have to take a look at. Without question, it was a, a kind of easy decision for the referee or the easier decision to yeah. make. And, and it, it should have been overturned. But, but for me, this is a game that Serbia had to win and, and they started exactly that way. Came out, got the goal they deserved, got themselves in front. And then I thought invited a little bit too much pressure from Switzerland and then all of a sudden had to play again. Yes, that, that call was absolutely blown, but once it was, you kind of felt the, the wind go out of the Serbian sails. And Switzerland, in the end, deserved it. It's a little unexpected also from Switzerland, I must I'm say, because mm. we, we've talked about Switzerland and who they are and how they're organized, and maybe they catch on the counter and they win the game one nothing. When they go down one nothing, I didn't really think that there were, there were two goals out there for Switzerland. And yet, it was a great goal by Xhaka, and then uh, the speed of Shakiri, who will not be at Stoke City next year, clearly. Liverpool. Oh, apparently, apparently so. It, and what a, what a finish it is, and what an important goal that was for Switzerland. Well, he's almost their loose cannon because he doesn't track back and defend. Yeah. And when they win the ball back, he's their outlet to start counter-attacking. And that's what he did. And what the centre-half was doing, Tosic trying to play offside oh, when Shakiri was in good. his own half. But he's the player that just gives them that little bit of flair when he gets on the ball. Just a reminder, ESPN FC with you throughout the day. We'll be with you tonight looking back at this game plus the two other matches today and looking ahead to Mexico against South Korea and Germany-Sweden.